Okay, we're here, we're on the Tableau website. I'm on the Vision Pro, it's in my room. I'm just gonna do a quick demo of the Vision Pro just so that you can get a context of the interactions I have access to. Um, the main one is this pinch gesture here. You can see that I'm doing it in front of your screen. Generally, I don't have to do it in front of my face for it to pick it up. I'm doing it here so you can see that gesture more clearly, but I can sort of use it on my lap and the you know Vision Pro still picks it up as you can see here. Um, another gesture I have access to is sort of two two handed pinch. So if I can do this to sort of make things larger and you can get right up close. This is great for text. You can get something really, really sharp, uh, especially on the page. Um, but that is sort of the two gestures I have access to. Um, if I tap, that is essentially the same as a click. So if I go to the Y tablet option here at the top and hit tap, you see the drop down menu comes up. So this is a really, really intuitive interface. I, I picked this up without reading any instructions. It just works. And it's really, really fast. I can't, I can't explain to anyone who hasn't tried the Vision Pro how good that experience is. It's just, it just works. It's, you know, your hands become a very natural input to what you're seeing. And the other thing is that this is in your space. We're in my office at the moment. This is, this is just the tablet website in sort of in 3D. And you know, the Vision Pro does some really cool things, like it puts a shadow on the floor right there. So um, these are all really sort of interesting points of context, but. Let's look at Tableau prep. That's the first thing I'm going to look at because you know I build prep flows a lot and that's something I'd like to see in this product. So let's go ahead and see. I have my Tableau Cloud instance. We'll go to new, we'll go to flow and we'll load up the Tableau prep instance. And uh, boom, we have Tableau prep in my office. Now, just for context, this is a real representation of how large it is in my room. And if I turn to my right, you can see how small the 4K screen I'd normally use is compared to what I've just set up. And so what this actually does is it makes the product feel like it's in your room. For the first time, Tableau Prep is in my office, unlike being on a screen and it's tangible. I can actually go up really close to it. I can, I can sort of stand up, grab my battery here. I can stand up and go and look at different parts of my flows. There's like a physicality to this that you just don't get with any other sort of thing. And you know, my desk is there and I can even walk through it and then come back and it's still right there. Um, and so I just, I just like this, this continues to blow my mind um, and it gets old very, very, very quickly. So um, we'll just sort of keep focused on the demo. If I go ahead, connect to the data, I'll just tap in front of the screen so you can see this. Tableau server will load up the data sources that I have on this. We'll go for the Tableau Pulse demo data set. I hit connect. I've set this data set to update every single day. There's sort of a good sort of time lag in it that just works with Tableau Pulse for at least the next two years. Um, so that should be good. And you can see it's loaded up nicely. I can go ahead and uh, tap the clean one step that will come in and we're pretty much here. Now, this is where I have found some issues. If I start to try and interact with Tableau Prep the way I would, there are a few bugs and I think this is less to do with Tableau Pulse and more to do with the Vision Pro. A good example, if I try and uh, drag the order ID, number one, you can see it's being a bit slow, it's not working, but it did pick it out, it did highlight it. So if I try it again, um, you can see it's just it's just being a bit buggy. So what I'll do is I'll just refresh the page just to sort of give the browser sort of uh, a chance to recontextualize itself. Okay, here we go. Uh, there it is. <laughs> I was worried. I was worried. I was wondering whether it was going to come back or forget the whole session. So we've loaded up clean one again. This time I'll actually wait for the data to load. There you go. Uh, and if I sort of try and grab it, you'll see it does this thing where it both selects it and uh, starts to scroll that window. That's not what I want to do. But if I go down here and I try and scroll this, this works absolutely fine. I can go across and diagonal at the same time. I can go up and down. I can literally draw with this. So it's a much more fluid uh, experience in some respects, but it's uh, a worse experience in other respects. So here, it has successfully allowed me just to pick uh, the columns. So now I can move this around like you can do in, 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 in Tableau Prep. This is a new feature actually of a, a, a release about uh, just a year and a half ago, reordering columns. It's really, really cool. If I go to the plus icon, I can go ahead and add a pivot. And the pivot tool is just another experience essentially. I found this works well if you tap the item, then drag it in. So we can tap country, then drag it in. 
and there you go we should have I didn't didn't drag that in quite properly I think I need to drop it in the box you can see that works there perfect so it's doing the pivot pivot values pivot names and I can go ahead and scroll that I can flip between these different perspectives and the thing is because this is the browser and the Vision Pro is quite powerful this is working really really fast in the browser and Tablet Prep is sort of keeping up and again, you know, I could just, just sort of reiterate this. I can get up, I can actually go and look at the individual segments. If this was like in a, a bigger office, I could actually walk around my flow. That's, that's such a bizarre thing to be able to say. I'll make sure that I actually sit down uh, properly here. And the final thing I'll do is I'll try and show you sort of a canvas interaction. So to do this, I want to hit another uh, clean... Uh, oh, I don't want to do that. Um, Fine, we'll do this and we'll go select a field. We'll say uh, days to shift. Um, here I can actually search and then uh, specify your value increment. We'll just do that. I don't need that. Um, and that will do. I just wanted to generate some new rows. And then what we'll do is we have new rows one, pivot one. So what I want to try and do is see if I can do this. And you can see this works well, but it doesn't always work as easily as that. So here we're unioning two data sets. And you can see that that's um, sort of really nicely been done by the product. And we can kind of even zoom in. And uh, again, you can go up and take a look at it. So that is Tableau Prep in the Vision Pro. I've just really compressed the first few sort of experiences I've had with this. I've had the Vision Pro for about three weeks. I've used Tableau in it for about a week in some small use cases. And it's been really, really good. So yeah, that's the first experience. If you've got any questions you'd like me to answer in more detail, let me know in the comments below. I will be doing a more detailed video on all of the Tableau experience inside of the Vision Pro so far. I'll just be looking at existing products. I won't be looking at anything else because um, for now, I think you know the Vision Pro is a pretty rare product. It, it's it's you know I can't recommend anyone you know buy one if that makes sense because there's not much to do in it. But I'm using it for work and I'm using it for development, so it's um, something that I know I'm going to use a lot. So. Let me know any questions you'd like to know about the Tableau experience in the Vision Pro. And yeah, I'll try and get to them uh, when I make a more full-on video about Tableau in the Vision Pro.